Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, in this video we are going to start this new topic of material costing that is EOQ, Economic Order Quantity. So now this EOQ topic, it's a very simple and very easy topic. So first let's start off with the concept of EOQ and then we are going to solve the some problems in this video only. Fine. So see here, Economic Order Quantity, what is this EOQ? See EOQ is nothing but a quantity that you order. Okay, it's just a quantity, that's it. Yeah, 500 units, 600 units, that's it. It is the size of the order, how much to order, yeah, that is what is EOQ. So now it's a quantity which is the most optimal and most beneficial. That is why it is called economic, economic order quantity, a quantity that is most economical for the factory or the business to make an order. Why? Because if you make an order at that quantity, then what happens is your total of ordering and carrying cost becomes minimum. Yeah, it is the size of the order for which total of ordering and carrying cost are at minimum. So now let's dive into that. What is this ordering and carrying cost? See here, when you want to purchase raw materials, right? There are mainly three costs involved. Purchase cost, ordering cost and carrying cost. So now see here, purchase cost. Let's say in your factory for a year, you need 10,000 units. For a year, you need 10,000 units. That's called annual consumption, annual demand or annual requirement. Yes, 10,000 units you need in a year for the, your factory. So now you want to purchase 10,000 units of raw material, right? And let's say the cost per unit is rupees 10. So you need to buy 10,000 raw material, 10,000 units of raw material and the cost per unit is into 10. So then your cost would be, your purchase cost would be 1 lakh. You have to pay 1 lakh to purchase this 10,000 units of raw material. Yeah, and this cost will be fixed. That is what is purchased cost, simple. What you pay to purchase the goods fine and then there is ordering cost now what is ordering cost ordering cost is the cost that you incur each and every time you make an order you know such as shipping charges transportation charges yes you are purchasing from your supplier but you might have to incur the shipping charges yourself yes and then some documentation work can be done so for that also there may be some expenses and then there may be inspection charges also after receiving the order you might have to check the quality and the quantity and for that also you might have to incur some expenses yeah that's inspection charges so all these comes under ordering cost yeah each time you make an order let's say the ordering cost is let's say per order the ordering cost is 1000 1000 yeah so now if you're making 10 orders if you're making 10 orders in a year into 1000 each time you make an order you incur the ordering cost so if ordering cost is 1000 per order and if you're making 10 orders then 10 into 1000 right so it would be 10,000 10,000 would be your what 10,000 would be the ordering cost see this is what is ordering cost the cost which are associated yeah which are directly related with the purchase or order of materials example transportation cost documentation quotation charges inspection simple and then we have carrying cost now what is this carrying cost see here after making the order and receiving the raw materials what you have to do with the raw materials simple you have to store the raw materials isn't it you have to store them and where you will do that in the warehouse or go down yes that is what you will do so for that also there is cost yes you might have to you know take a warehouse on lease or maybe you have to purchase the warehouse yes rent is there so so many things are there so that would be your carrying cost yes storing cost and also insurance also there can be accidents also in the warehouse right your stock of raw materials can be burned it can be destroyed so that is why you have to get an insurance also so all this is what carrying cost or you can also say holding cost you have to hold or carry the materials with you isn't it yes so this is what three costs are involved purchase cost ordering cost and carrying cost understood so now here purchase cost is always fixed okay but these two ordering cost and carrying cost you know they have a negative relationship if ordering cost is more carrying cost would be less and if carrying cost would be more ordering cost will be less let's understand that see here now let's say you want to purchase 10,000 units for your factory 10,000 units okay fine so now let's understand the relationship between OC and CC yeah ordering cost and carrying cost see here it's very simple see here let's say you want to purchase 10,000 units now so now what you can do is you can order see here I'll just give you three scenarios see here 10,000 units you need isn't it now you want to order let's say quarterly every three months yeah so that would be divided by four yes 
in a year there are four quarters right three 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 isn't it so you will be making how much 2500 quantity order and you will be making four orders isn't it 2500 2500 2500 2500 that's 10,000 quantity yes 10,000 units you need yeah and you will be making order every quarter so divide by four yes four quarters are there so 2500 quantity you will be ordering each time and then total it will be four orders so four orders and let's say the ordering cost yeah per order is 1000 yeah just example so into 1000 yeah let's see here four orders you'll be making into 1000 yeah 1000 is the ordering cost yes and the total ordering cost would be 4000 isn't it you'll be making what 4000 ordering cost you'll be incurring 4000 ordering cost okay then what will happen to the carrying cost the holding cost see here you have to get a warehouse that can accommodate 2500 quantity each time because you will be getting 2500 quantity each quarter isn't it you'll be receiving at the warehouse 2500 quantity of raw material and you have to store them yeah so your cost would be less okay your cost would be less your carrying cost but then let's come to the second scenario in the second scenario let's say you will be making order every six month yeah so see here see here 10,000 quantity you need in a year that's your annual demand divide by six months so that's divided by two right there are two six months in a year right so divide by two 5,000 5,000 quantity order you'll be making twice in a year right because you need only 10,000 that's your annual demand annual consumption that's your annual requirement so 5,000 5,000 two times you will order so if you order two times what will happen two orders into 1,000 your ordering cost per order so simple 2,000 two orders into 1000 2000 your ordering cost will be 2000 but then what will happen to your carrying cost your carrying cost or holding cost will increase isn't it because the same warehouse compared with the first scenario the same warehouse which you purchase or you took it on rent right which can accommodate 2500 quantity wouldn't be enough to store 5000 quantity at once right you will be getting 5000 quantity yes so can you accommodate the 5000 quantity in that same warehouse no you have to get a bigger warehouse isn't it so that is why here what will happen here your carrying cost will increase you have to take a bigger warehouse on rent or you might have to purchase a bigger warehouse simple so see here ordering cost came down from four orders we are making two orders but then what happened we are making an order of high quantity yes our ordering cost came down because we are making only fewer orders two orders but then we are receiving high quantity at the warehouse our holding cost is increasing simple let's come to the last scenario see here what if 10,000 quantity we need right so what if we order the whole 10,000 quantity at once on the first January itself we are ordering 10,000 quantity all at once so now what will happen we are making only one order we need 10,000 units we are making only one order so ordering cost will come even down yeah it will be more reduced yes 1000 only one order into 1000 that is 1000 1000 will be the ordering cost but then what will happen to the holding cost to the carrying cost it will increase more why because now 10,000 quantity at once will come to the warehouse and again the same thing the warehouse wouldn't be able to accommodate the warehouse compared with the second scenario the warehouse which we had for 5000 quantity wouldn't be enough to store 10,000 quantity so we have to get even bigger warehouse even bigger go down you see here ordering cost is decreasing but our carrying cost is increasing 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 see this is the thing you know so see here see here cost quantity this graphical representation see here this is carrying cost this is ordering cost as you go on increasing the quantity in an order then what will happen you'll be making fewer orders and your ordering cost will come down it will come down okay the ordering cost see here this is cost right so cost will come down ordering cost will come down but then what will happen to the carrying cost as quantity increases yes as quantity increases your carrying cost will be higher and higher and higher isn't it that's what we see right see here 2500 quantity it was yeah it was little cost was there and then when you raised to 5000 quantity orders you made fewer orders ordering cost came down but then your holding cost increased your carrying cost increased and then when you made 10,000 quantity order then what happened then it increased even more the carrying cost but the ordering cost came down carrying cost went on increasing yeah this is what happens you know carrying cost and ordering cost they have negative relationship 
you know they have what negative relationship understood carrying cost and ordering cost have negative relationship so that's why what we do is in this eoq eoq is a quantity where the ordering and carrying cost is at minimum okay it is minimum and it is equal so that is why what we do is we calculate this eoq eoq is a point where carrying cost and ordering cost is equal and it's the point where the carrying cost and ordering cost is minimum so that is the optimal and the best point that is the best quantity that is what the best quantity at which we have to order understood eoq is the quantity at which carrying cost and ordering cost is equal okay they are equal and they are minimum okay they are minimum so that's the best quantity to order fine simple you understood they have negative relationship and we have to use the formula to calculate eoq it's very simple so let's see see here ordering cost right we saw that carrying cost the cost for holding of inventories in store example cost of storage yeah rent of warehouse insurance cost etc so the formula is very simple see here eoq is equal to root of 2ao divided by c 2ao divided by c what is this a see here a is the annual demand consumption how much you need in a year annually yes we saw in this example 10000 units so that's your annual demand how much you need in a year okay we always see uh, you know year figures because we prepare the financial statements for a year right so that's why even 6 months you know figures are given we will convert it into year and if even 3 months quarterly figures are given we will convert it into years right that's what we do so annual demand okay and then o o is ordering cost ordering cost per order okay if you want to make one order then how much is the cost that is your o ordering cost per order and then c is the carrying cost per unit carrying cost per unit remember this okay carrying cost per unit all right so this is c holding cost per unit or carrying cost per unit okay you understood this is the formula see here one example yeah problem one see here suppose a company purchases raw material at a cost of rupees 16 per unit okay this is the purchase cost cost per unit they have given us okay that is not useful to us while calculating eoq okay see here the annual demand is 25000 units see here we have got the annual requirement this thing yeah so we have got the a a is what 25000 units right then the carrying cost per unit is 6.40 so we have got the carrying cost here c is 6.40 understood and the cost of placing an order is rupees 32 ordering cost is given at rupees 32 so simple we are going to use the eoq formula 2 ao divide by c it's very simple let's do that so 2 into what is the a a is the 25000 units isn't it 25000 into 32 yeah see here into 25000 that is a annual demand annual requirement annual consumption into 32 the ordering cost per order yeah see here they have said the cost of placing an order one order is rupees 32 so into 32 okay equal to that comes out to be how much 16 lakh divided by the carrying cost per unit that is 6.40 yes 6.40 so divided by 6.40 Yeah, six point forty. Then how much you get? It is equal to how much? Two lakh fifty thousand. Now apply the root. Yeah, see here root simple five hundred. Five hundred quantity would be your EOQ. Simple, got it? Yeah. So this is how you have to do. It's very simple. Yeah, just identify these and apply the formula two AO divided by C. Understood? Yeah. So now let's see more examples. Now here we have the second problem of EOQ. See here it's very simple. calculate eoq and number of orders to be placed in a year so here they have asked us to find eoq calculate eoq and number of orders to be placed in a year fine we'll do that so let's see the information what is given so we have been given see here quarterly consumption of materials 4000 units so here they haven't given us annual consumption they have given us quarterly consumption so we have to convert that okay and then cost of placing one order is given 100 cost per unit is given rupees 80 and then we have got carrying cost storage and carrying cost 8% of inventory 8% of raw material that we are going to order right so now here 8% of inventory means what see carrying cost is always at per unit carrying cost per unit yes that's what we need in eoq formula carrying cost per unit but ordering cost is per order okay leave that see here 8% of inventory means 8% of raw material so what are we going to do we are going to multiply 8% we are going to take 8% of cost per unit of raw material cost per unit of raw material that is rupees 
okay so let's solve this problem see it's very simple the formula is 2 a o divided by c eoq formula we need annual consumption we need ordering cost we need carrying cost so first let's focus on annual consumption annual demand yes but in this question we have got quarterly consumption so we have to convert that and you know in a year we have got four quarters right four quarters we have got in a year so what are we going to do four thousand into four four thousand into four yeah that's how we are going to convert that four thousand into four sixteen thousand units simple as that see here what did i say four thousand units into four quarters in a year so multiply that you will get sixteen thousand units that's your annual consumption so we have got the a annual consumption sixteen thousand units and then o is hundred it is given in the question cost of placing one order hundred rupees fine and then we need carrying cost which is not given directly so they have said eight percent of inventory so eight percent of inventory means we have to take eight percent of cost per unit of raw material of inventory yeah that's what we have to do cost per unit is rupees 80 into eight percent of that so simple see here cost per unit into eight percent what is cost per unit rupees 80 so 80 into 0 0.08 yeah that's eight percent so if you multiply that we get 6.4 as the carrying cost per unit simple right carrying cost per unit right then we have got everything isn't it a o c so now let's apply the eoq formula root of 2 into 16000 the annual consumption 16000 into 100 the ordering cost 2 a o yeah divide by the carrying cost per unit that is 6.4 we just calculated yeah if you put that into calculator 2 into 16,000 into 100 that is equal to 32 lakh divided by 6.4 you get how much 5 lakh so now root it you will get 707.1 that's the quantity but now we have to round it off okay so if we round it off it will become 707 okay 707 quantity yeah fine so this is our eoq we have got the eoq now we have to calculate the number of orders to be placed okay number of orders to be placed so it's very simple now each time you will be ordering this much quantity eoq quantity yeah your quantity that you will be ordering is 707 each time so now you have to know how much orders you are going to make in a year in a year how much quantity do you need what is your annual consumption in a year you will be needing how much 16,000 units okay so your annual consumption is 16,000 units yeah why am i taking annual consumption because they have asked number of orders to be placed in a year yeah in a year how many orders you are going to place so simple i need 6,000 units yeah i need 16,000 units divided by the eoq what is the eoq 707 quantity so simple i need 16,000 quantity in a year divided by divided by the eoq each time the quantity you will be ordering is 707 okay divided by that so you will get see here 22.6 orders so you will be making 22.6 orders yeah but you cannot make you know 0.6 order so you have to round it off it's more than 0.5 so round it off and make it 23 orders so you will be ordering how much 23 orders simple yeah simple problem first you calculated the eoq and then what you have to apply this formula simple annual consumption divided by eoq you will get the number of orders to be placed in a year 23 orders in a year that's the most important thing yeah simple